Hi, Rachel. Hi. Um, you've been working in SimTech for six months, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Um, what do you love the most in SimTech? What I love the most about SimTech is its work in the manufacturing industry. So the manufacturing industry accounts for more than twenty percent of our national GDP, and um, that means that SimTech's work really does have impacts on our national economy and our workforce and. Um, we also have a proven track record of um, collaborations with SMEs um, and industry members, and um, so Simtex work really does um, help to uplift local businesses um, and the manufacturing ecosystem in general. So I find that um, what Simtex does is is really meaningful from um, enriching and uplifting local businesses to advancing technology. Um, to impact their individual lives, um, and getting to be a part of that to help to share um, the work that we do and to spark new collaborations is something that I find very meaningful, and it gives me purpose to my work uh, on a daily basis. And um, Simtech's leadership in the industry in driving sustainability also helps to um, benefit the environment, which is a cause that I personally care about. Thank you. Yeah, so I've heard that you've been at SimTech for about nine years now. So, what would you say it takes to excel in SimTech? In a short answer, I think it's about understand how the research can drive the industry transformation. In my division, sustainability and the life cycle engineering division, we look at how the research can transform the industry towards a low carbon circular economy. And this direction setting has to be well understood. Therefore, we can identify the suitable strategy and work plans to navigate our research. With this roadmap, we can coordinate our team with people from different domains, and also externally, we can use this roadmap to identify the suitable industry player, the key stakeholder, and work with them and give them the competitive advantage, so they can lead the entire industry sector and transform. This ecosystem, and uh, the working culture is also very important. In SNA, we work as a team, a diverse team, so with people from different domains, different countries, definitely different cultures. That means we appreciate the collective team effort rather than a very silo, domain-centric mindset. And uh, it also means when people from different expertise can work together as a team. Then the technology outcomes with different functionalities can be integrated as a solution for the industry. That's great. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Then, what are the highlights in your experience in SimTech? I would say the highlights are definitely the people. I've really enjoyed working with um, the colleagues at SimTech um, and the Marcoms team. I feel that the people here. They genuinely believe in what they do, and they take so much pride in what they do, and they're always up for challenges. And it's it's so、um, enriching to be able to work alongside people with such drive and such passion for their work.、Um, and I also love that I've been able to work on such a diverse range of projects so far. So the diversity, the variation,、um, and the challenge that never stops coming, it makes sure that the work doesn't get boring. Yeah. So, what would you say that、um, you love about your work at Simtech so far?、Mm. Number one, I think as a、uh, scientist in A star, a in the、uh, translational and applied R and D,、right. my work involves a lot of collaboration.、Mm. Um, Simtech provides a very direct and a convenient interface、mm. for me to talk to professors, students, and the companies.、Right. And secondly. I think we also deal with a lot of challenging topics, particularly in sustainability.、Right. And then through this process, we can really see the power of a scientific approach, how it guides the research efforts, and put different functionalities together、right. to address these challenging topics. And the number three is our work is so closely connected to the industry. Then you can enter into the dynamic value chain. Here. Observe what people see, what people say, and what they expect, and then influence it.